happiness is the desire for flawless skin. And nature has always been a friend. Introducing Apsara Skin Care, made with all natural ingredients for all skin types. Bringing ancient wisdom into modern skin care. Visit ApsaraSkinCare.com today. Go natural. It's good karma. Hi, I'm Sue Devi, and I'm here today with Sheetal, who is the founder of ApsaraSkinCare.com. And Sheetal is here to teach us all how to have beautiful, radiant, glowing skin. So what are we learning this time? We are learning a very, very simple at-home recipe to clean out your skin at a very deep level. Great. That is right. So I've heard sometimes people have their skin, uh, they use the word congested, they have congested skin. They do actually. Okay, can you tell me what that means and how to recognize if the skin is congested? Well, the first thing that you will see is that you have blackheads and whiteheads. Mm -hmm. And blackheads are these little white dots, uh, excuse me, black dots that you see on your skin. It really is the excess oil in your skin being trapped in the pores. And in the pores it becomes hard and then it comes into contact with the atmospheric oxygen and turns black mm -hmm. so that's your typical blackhead a whitehead is essentially the same thing except that it's covered with a thin film of skin it does not come in contact with oxygen and therefore it has a pearly white appearance but both of these are signs of congestion of skin also if your skin is not very clear and if you feel that you your inner glow of your skin is hidden then chances are that your skin is congested I as see, well I see. yeah now, if somebody has these symptoms, the blackheads and the whiteheads, or they're missing that inner glow, right. what would you recommend we do? We will do this very simple at-home uh, facial uh, recipe. It's a facial uh, dab-on recipe and a massaging recipe. Rather than something that sits and dries on your skin, mm -hmm. this will be dabbed on and massaged in. Great. So, number one ingredient is jojoba oil. And jojoba oil really is a wax rather than an oil, but it's structurally so similar to the sebum of our own skin or the oils produced by our own skin yes. that it goes deep inside the pores and mimics the oils and the skin perceives it right. as, as its own and it uh, starts to clean out in the process and be nourished uh, at the same time. Wonderful. So I've that's jojoba. Great. I've heard of jojoba oil on beauty websites and I've read about this in different uh, magazine articles. Is it something that's been used in Ayurveda or is it something more recent? The next ingredient is more Ayurvedic oh, in nature. I see. And the next ingredient is castor oil. Castor oil. Now what right. exactly is that? Now in Sanskrit or Hindi it's called Arandi oil mm -hmm. and it has been um, suggested in Ayurveda also for its skin purging. Oh. and skin deep cleaning properties so as it goes into your skin it goes deeper into the layers of the skin and the first thing it does is that it tries to deep clean the skin right. so if anybody has congestion of skin like blackheads and whiteheads mm -hmm. or some acne even mm. the castor oil or arundi yes. oil is actually going to uh, go in and push all of these impurities wow. out so it's a purging oil, it's wonderful. It also yes. has anti-inflammatory properties. Yes. So if you have any redness or, or any such issue, this is a wonderful oil. Great. And I find it very fascinating because I grew up believing that if you have blackheads or whiteheads, it means your skin is too oily. So the last thing I would think to do is put oil to remove On oil. your skin. And yeah. you're not alone, you know, it is. Um, it's it's easy to have that um, sort of a perception and right. to some extent it's right yes. your skin is producing a lot of oil right. but it is possible that it's producing it because it's feeling undernourished Interesting. and it's feeling dry and right. so it's trying to protect itself right. and in doing so it produces too much perhaps and some of it gets caught in the pores becomes hard and then the blackheads so and whiteheads that's a myth then so oil on the face is not just for people with dry skin no, okay. not at all. Good and you know. see, collectively, we also need to bust this myth because the skincare industry has propagated it, right. perhaps from a lack of complete understanding. Yes. And and so we, there are certain oils that are actually very friendly to the skin, yes. very very friendly to the skin. Right. And what's our third ingredient? Uh, the third ingredient is lemon juice. Mm. 
and lemon juice is not completely going to mix in with the oils right. but as we agitate the mixture it will and it's uh, it's a wonderful source of citric acid which is an alpha hydroxy acid mm -hmm. it brightens up the skin it yes. exfoliates the skin at a greater rate and so these three ingredients then are very powerful very very right. good wonderful. and so let's get started one teaspoonful of jojoba oil and to this we are going to add one teaspoonful of castor oil and one teaspoonful of lemon juice just as simple as that Great. castor oil jojoba oil and lemon juice and we're going to agitate this mix just to get the lemon juice and the oils as uniformly in mixture as possible and then you have a liquid mask right here Perfect. And you can just with your finger or with a cotton ball, you can uh, dab it all over your skin and massage your skin for two to three minutes. Even four right. minutes is okay. fine. And you might want to leave it on for another five or six minutes. Mm -hmm. After that, you're going to wash your skin. You're going to follow with your serum mm -hmm. and your lotion. I and see. if you do it twice a week, this is a wonderful deep cleansing recipe. Perfect. Twice a week. Twice a week. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sheetal. I can't wait to try this. You're welcome.